NASA is preparing for the absolute worst. A large asteroid speeding toward Earth, speeding toward Earth, speeding toward Earth, toward Earth. And so it was all over the news that a big asteroid was coming down to hit Earth and that it was going to strike out a big portion of it and that everyone um, would in some way be affected but, um, but it was going to take out a major piece of the population. Um, everyone was freaking out. Um, bridges were jam-packed. They were not letting anyone cross the bridges. Like they were just all like jammed up. I wasn't, okay, everything happened when, when TV turned on, it was breaking news. Everybody in the cell phone had like a breaking news alert. Uh, there was an asteroid coming. So everybody started panicking and I seen people like um, going under like the train subways in New York City, they were going underground. Every, everybody tried to go underground, but it was so many people just running and people just hitting each other, like bumping into, into each other. Um, all of a sudden, everybody looked up and there was this huge asteroid and I heard this lady saying, this is it, that's the, that's the big one. Y'all, the asteroid was so big, it looked big enough to knock the earth out. And then I seen other little pieces, different shapes, different shapes, little smaller asteroids beside it. And I was looking at it, I'm like, do y'all see this? And I remember that there was two objects in the sky and um, I couldn't remember what the first object was, but the second object was just this huge rock and it was just right next to the sun. And um, so I'm assuming it was probably an asteroid. Maybe it was just right up there next to the sun and I could see it clear as day. And so this asteroid is hit Earth, and it shook the world. I mean, it shook the world. The house started shaking and rocking, and all of a sudden it leaned to the left. And everybody who was in the house, you know, we was trying to grab on and to, to whatever was happening. But before it started moving, I noticed that my ears felt funny. And I noticed it's like something in the atmosphere in the house changed. It's almost like if someone is in a tornado, they feel the popping of the ears when a tornado is getting ready to come. Well, this was something similar to that. I could, I, you know, the atmosphere was just letting me know. All of a sudden the atmosphere changed and uh, one of us had looked out the window and said, oh, you know, oh my gosh, come look at this. And so we all ran to the window, we were looking out and the atmosphere changed like that quick. Um, it was, and it was the pinkish, purpley magentas, you know, really striking uh, sort of northern lights. I looked up in the sky, I saw this interesting sight. It looked like a purple, illish, bluish, like these like lines in the sky, but it was like, you know, almost like for, for, for I can't say the F word, fluorescent lights. I was, I, and I looked, I said, is that plasma? It looked like plasma. I was like, oh my goodness, there must be plasma. And so, cause it was just that, it was really big. It was very big. It was like a big giant plasma, plasma bomb or something like that. And the weird thing about it was that it was flickering. It was flickering. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It was a weird flickering too. It wasn't like uh, lightning, you know, where it's like flash, flash. It wasn't like that. It was flickering, flickering uh, intermittently. And then we were, when we saw the atmosphere changing, we all started talking about, is this it? Is this it? It was a big, big, big asteroid. It looked like it just entered Earth, the Earth's atmosphere. Atmosphere. It was just huge and tremendous and then we see out the window over the horizon boom this huge explosion and uh we were like what we you know is that a nuclear bomb is this it you know is the rapture and bombs fall the impact and the winds winds were very fast i saw the sea massive earthquake i saw some picture of like of a rip to scale and it it was like and it, it was like the highest it had ever been, like a 12 something or another around the world. The whole world felt it, the whole world saw it, and everybody knew about it. It was absolutely awful. Nothing was the same. 
nothing was the same for the average person anyway nothing was the same I was uh, staying in some sort of broken smashed to peas house it was dark everywhere uh, things were never the same again and I believe that was the message from the Lord in this dream if you survive the impact it's the bit afterwards prepare yourself for this nothing will ever ever be the same again in any sense way shape or form nothing was the same this is Raptor News two massive inbound asteroids coming in soon five days apart two exodus two exodus dates I gave in the last videos the last couple of videos I gave two exodus dates and those are the two dates supposedly now the two large massive inbound meteors are going to show on those dates possibility not saying it's going to happen could the first meteorite pick up God's chosen elect and take them to Mount Zion and could the second meteorite Wormwood destroy the nations let's find out about the uh, first date Sep September 9 2019 Asteroid 2006 QV89 is coming in. It is the size of a football field. The asteroid has only one, I mean, has one in a 7300 chance of smashing into the Earth. And on the morning of September 9th, 2019, according to the European Space Agency, it will arrive. Okay, now check this out. We were told that the children of Israel in the month of Muharram, that's the 10th day, and it's going to fall on September 9, 2019. That's when the children of Israel crossed over the Red Sea, okay, in the first Exodus. So all this has something to do with an Exodus. Okay, now, September 14, 2019, an asteroid larger than some of the world's tallest buildings was zipped by the Earth on September 14. An asteroid will pass that's larger than some of the tallest buildings on the planet. Asteroid 2000 QW7 is estimated to be between 290 meters and 650 meters in diameter and between 951 and 2132 feet according to